evening, good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good night, teacher.
Okay, welcome. It is a pleasure to see you again. We are going to start now. So please pay attention to what we are going to talk. We've been waiting for the rest of the class, but uh, we are going to start now. First. Okay, ahí tenemos el tema de hoy. Dice how to use proposition of time. Cómo usar proposición de tiempo. Así que estamos nosotros el día de hoy. But before we start, we are going to talk about the review. Um, what can you tell me about the previous class? What do you remember about? Let me know. ¿Qué recordamos de la clase anterior? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Eh, me recuerdo que estuvimos haciendo eh, preguntas de WH question. Ok. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Eh, el tiempo. ¿Cómo leer las, las horas? Okay. Usando el to en paz. Ok. If I ask you what time is it now, how. What time is it now? It's a good question, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. Mm, de la primera forma es, is 9, 10 p.m. 9? 10 p.m. De, de, de la primera forma. De la segunda forma sería... Uh, 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes past 8. Okay. 10 minutes past 8. Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to say something about? Alguien más desea expresar algo de lo que recuerdo? El tiempo específico para hacer actividades en el trabajo. Ah, ¿Cómo era entonces? Examples. Uh, at eight o'clock, I arrived at work. Okay.
मरी होगा तो सही समझे ना हो ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? ¿La hola? ¿La? ¿Qué más recordamos? Ya no recordamos más. Aló, aló, aló. Tell me this, what you remember about. Okay, I'm going to share with you something in order that you can resolve. And that way you are going to remember what you started. Okay, we are compartir con ustedes. Un link referente a las actividades del día de ayer. Por favor, le leo el clic. Y así refrescamos un poco la memoria. Estaré un, uh, un momento con cámara apagada. Estoy experimentando baja de señal por YouTube. No sé si por el área de ustedes está igual, lloviendo, o está tranquilo todo. Ok, ¿ya pudieron abrirlo? Ya estoy Ok, ok. Ya estoy hecho. Trying to resolve. Ok, ok. Okay.
escuché, disculpe, no sé si se va aquí en mi aplicación, pero eh, abro, estaba haciendo lo del ejercicio y ciertos, ciertas preguntas, me preguntan qué hora es, pero no trae un reloj para, para ver qué hora es. Ok, no, Solo me da respuesta, pero para ver en sí qué hora es, no me da. Ok, permítame un segundo, por favor. Ok, this is the first one. ¿Qué, qué número es? Este, las seis parece. Desde las seis me empezó a salir. Sí. Sí. Ahí. Me dice, what time is it? Pero... Y le di clic al, alrededor, tal vez me salí algún reloj para ir escondido, pero no me salió. Ok, let me see what's happening here. It's kind of weird. I finished the chair. Son tres las que aparecen así. Yo las tres me salieron mal porque no veía ningún reloj. Sí, no, no sé. No, no. Sí, tranquilos. Uh, lo importante es la práctica, pero bueno, ya vamos a corregir eso. Okay, let me see if you've already finished, all of you. Todos terminaron? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me 
this over here. Yeah, we got a we got a mistake here. Okay, uh, what we are going to do is that, that we are going to resolve this one. Okay, take a look at this, please. Okay, what time is it there? Only one, give me an answer, please. What time is it? Tell me. It's quarter past. Want to pass? Ten. Okay, let us see. Okay, somebody else, what about this one? It's half past five. Okay, what right here? What time is it there? It's quarter to one. Let us see. Let us see. Okay, right here. Eight two o'clock, letter B. Letter B. Okay, alien mask, for power. What about this one? A, B, or C? It's quarter. Quarter past two. Quarter past two. Letter. Letter A, B, or C. Tell me. A. Okay, letter. It's A. Okay, that's what. Next one. What time is it there? C. Letter C, teacher. Letter C. 
Sí. ¿Le reciben? Uh, no, sí. Let it be. What about this one? Letter A. Letter A. One o'clock. Right here. What time is it there? There is C. Let it be. Let it be. Uh -huh. One said let it be, another said let it be. Because in let it be, it says a quarter past three. And let us see if the quarter past nine. What about this one? What time is it there? Letter A. Letter A? Yes. Yes. Quarter to 12, let me see. Okay. If I ask you now, what time is it? What how what can, uh, how can you tell me the time? Microphone está cerrado. Se alguien está tratando de hablar. Mucho de voz. Ayen half. Ahorita sí le estoy oyendo, Carmen. Solo las últimas palabras las puedo oír. It's eight and half. It is half past eight. Half past eight. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on a second, please. Let me show you something here. Let me show you this.
Ok, uh, alguien que me lea, por favor. Usamos at para at más hora del día, at 6.30 a las 6.30, at 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock a las 7, at down al amanecer, at lunch time al mediodía, at midnight a la medianoche, at más día festivo, at Christmas en Navidad, at Esther en Pascuas, at New Year, New Year en Nuevo Año, at Lent en Cuaresma, at Holy Week en Semana Santa, at ciertas expresiones, at the moment en este momento, at the weekend en el fin de semana, at that time en ese tiempo, at night a la noche, at noon al mediodía. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. So, dice, usamos ad para, para qué? Para las horas del día, ya tenemos ejemplos para días festivos y para ciertas expresiones. Es decir, eso es lo que tenemos que tener en mente. Ok, por ahí les doy dos minutos para que lean y traten de darme ejemplos parecidos a esto. Too many, too many. Okay, tell me. When we talk about uh, the time of the day, we are going to use uh, in different moments at uh, 6.30, at 7 o'clock, at down, at lunchtime, at midnight. Okay, now uh, give me some example using all those expressions. At school, teacher. Oh, yeah. At school. At holiday. At breakfast. Sí, lo que quiero es, por ejemplo, que usen la expresión ya dentro de una oración que ustedes han creado. Like the one that you gave. I arrive at school. I arrive at 6.30 a.m. Okay, teacher. Okay, Roxanne. Uh, teacher, podría ser at five the morning I grab. Será que hay que, habría que decir lo último primero. I get up at I get up at y luego la hora. I get up at five in the morning. Ah, okay, mejor así. Okay. Okay, somebody I want to say something about. The English class is at 8 p.m. Okay. No sé si está bien. Sí, lo único que cuando son horas exactas siempre usamos por clock. 
Ah, sí, sí, entiendo. Ok. Son María. I don't have a holy week. I, I, never be done with that. I don't have vacation at Holy Week. Okay. Next, please. Okay. What about using a treatment? Who wants to create one? Solo uno, please. No more than one. Teacher dice otro, no sé si está bien. Dice. At Christmas, we eat a lot. Podría ser al revés. We eat a lot at Christmas. We eat a lot at Christmas. Yes. What about the rest? Lo demás? Necesito ejemplos. Teacher, yo tengo una, pero no sé si está bien. Es, I got, I got visit my family at Christmas. I got to visit my family at Christmas. Ok, si lo dijo así, está bien. Ahí. Ok, another one. ¿Alguien más? Si sí, dice una, no sé si está bien. I go to work at six o'clock. Okay, I go to work at six o'clock. Six o'clock, okay. What else? Quien, quien más? Que más hay ahí? Teacher. Um, I eat my lunch at noon. Okay, that's correct too. Teacher, is that I I leave, I leave a down. I live in the town. In? ¿Cómo sería? I live in the town. Oh, me, iré, me iré al amanecer. I live. No, 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 no. Es que no, no, no sé realmente si estaba diciendo live o live.
no sé. ¿Cómo lo te podría decir si digo me iré al amanecer? Ah, ok. Entonces ahí habría, habría que hacer como, como una... At, I, I eat it at down. I see down. I live at down. But what I need is a specific, a specific sentence. Oraciones específicas. Okay, try to keep in mind uh, how we are going to use this. Okay, let me go out a little bit. Okay, give me a little bit of Usamos in para in más partes del día, in the morning, por la mañana, in the afternoon, por la tarde, in the evening, por la noche. In más meses, in January, en enero, in February, en febrero, in May, en mayo, in, en años. Ay, no sé cómo se lee en inglés, teacher, los años. <risa> Uh, if you are talking about years, mm. in, right here, for example, you can divide in, into digit 1966. 1966. And right here, 1845, Ojo lo que dice ahí, para usamos in para parte del día. También para meses y también para años. Hagan ejemplo usando los meses, por favor, de algo que tengan proyectado hacer. Teacher, podría, podría ser in August is my birthday. Okay. Teacher, in oh. February is the month of love. Okay, in February or February is the month of love. Oh, okay. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más tenemos ahí? Hello. Piense, piense, piense. In nineteen ninety, I born. I start working, for example. Okay, any question from right here? Let me see it right here. In estaciones del año, for example, in, in summer, in a spring, in fall, in autumn, in the early summer, in plus last periods. Pero veamos la parte primera de arriba. 
Necesito que me creen, son cuántos de mis sí? y 15 son, no 16 con O que creen en una oración cada uno usando eso. eso. Teacher, podría ser in summer, I like to go to the beach. In summer, I enjoy going to the beach, okay. Okay, somebody else, in mass? In summer, is hot. In summer, it's really hot, okay. It's really, okay. Okay, what else? Lo demás, por favor. Teacher, podría ser in winter is cold. Okay, in winter. It's cold. It's cool, okay. It's cool. What else? Okay, Mas. Bueno, como no veo que hay más, uh, what about uh, agent plus large kilos? In plus large kilos. In the 19th centuries, it's an example. Okay, what about the rest? Teacher, for example, in the ninth century, in Ben cell phone. Okay, in the ninth, ninth century. In Ben cell phone. Okay, pero ¿quién lo inventó? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? Um, uh, bueno, ya no sé cómo completar la oración, de hecho. Esta otra, eh, in nine months, the baby is born. In nine months, the baby is born. No sé si así se pronuncia. Nace. Ok. Nine months the baby is born. Okay, what else? Come on. In the past, in the future, in the Middle Ages, tell me. 
Tenemos mucho de dónde hacer oraciones ahí. Y eso es lo que quiero ver, que todos participen. Teacher, in the future, in the future, I learn a new language. In the Come back in five minutes. I will learn a new language. Okay. What else? Can can I start with a single word? Yo dije. Come back in five minutes? No. I'll be back in five minutes, is there? Well. What else? We can talk about a long periods in the in the twenty centuries, and you can mention what happened. And if you want to talk about the future, you are going to use. This is structure. I will be there in two days, in nine months, in five minutes, in three years, in seven hours. Okay, let us continue. Okay, we already talked about this. Okay, I need that somebody read it, please. Can I leave? Usamos on para. On más día, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Tuesday. On más día, más parte del día. On Friday morning, el viernes por la mañana, on Saturday afternoon, el sábado por la tarde. On Sunday evening, el domingo a la noche. On más fechas, on Christmas Day, el día de Navidad. On Juli... Four, no sé cómo se dice eso, teacher. El 4 de julio. July 4. Um, ¿Perdón? July 4. Good night, 4. On December 31. Y las fechas. Que no, las, no se pronuncia las fechas. On December 31st. 30. Six. Twenty-one. Six. Twenty-one. Six. 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 Okay, let, let us practice doing something. Tell me the year that you were born. 
en el año que fue su, su nacimiento. Ok, chao. Okay, what you are going to do is, for example, I was born in, you are going to mention that, and you need to include the day and the month and the year. You can include the day, the month, and the year in the que no existe. Okay, Chao. Okay, tell me, please. Okay, take a look at uh, right here, how we are going to combine, como vamos a combinar, for example, with date. In the in the in la parte la parte del día, for example, on Friday morning, el viernes por la mañana, on Saturday afternoon, sábado por la tarde, eh, or Sunday evening, el domingo al anochecer. But I need that you use all these terms that I'm I've been talking about with you. No se trata solo de pasando la, sino que necesitamos saber los términos. Okay, what about this one? Take a look at this, please. Usamos on para on mass in the on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Saturday, on las el día en la par y la parte del día. Eso es importante. On Friday morning. El viernes por la mañana sería en ese caso. Sunday evening sería el domingo en la noche. Okay, now I need that you try to use some impression about this slide. Okay, tell me, please. Teacher, I tengo una sería on Saturday. On Saturday evening, I have dinner with my grandmother. Okay, permítame, permítame, Roxana me está pidiendo grabar esta reunión. One second, please. Permítame que tenga una notificación de Roxana. Roxana, ¿usted desea grabar la clase también? Eh, no. <laughs> Sí, porque me aparece una notificación suya. He requested you record this meeting locally. 
No, no sé, Perlita, me voy a detener la. Si no sé por qué me apareció eso. Ok, I'm sorry. ¿Qué me decía? Sería on Saturday evening I have dinner with my grandmother. Ok, on Saturday evening I have dinner with my grandmother. Ok. What else? Somebody else wants to create another one? ¿Alguien más quiere crear algún? Teacher. Hello. The, re the restaurant, the restaurant in closet all year on Monday. It's okay, teacher. Okay, let, let me see how you are going to do it. It's gonna be very in this way. Permítame un segundo. Vamos a detener esto y vamos a crear un whiteboard. Permítame un segundo. Si tengo sino muy baja, no me está cargando la pizarra. ¿Sí la pueden ver hoy? Sí. Ok. Ok. Uh, vamos a hacer una lluvia de ideas. Escriban las oraciones ahí y luego las corregimos. Así todas en orden, por favor.
Okay, let me see. I got only asked yes. one, two. The restaurant is closed all year on Monday. Come on, come on, come on, hold on. El restaurante está cerrado todo el año en lunes. I got your idea. Pues es mejor como decir, the restaurant never open on Monday. Okay, veo que se les hace difícil escribir alguno. Okay, aquí on, on Monday morning I will do exercise. Okay, siguiente veamos. On Saturday evening, I have dinner with my grandma. Okay. That's correct. Okay, let me check out the, the attendance. I'm going to stop sharing. Vamos. Revisemos asistencia antes que otra cosa suceda. Ok, uh, América Elizabeth, ¿estás ahí? Presente, teacher. Ok, thank you. Blanca Esperanza. Present. Ok, eh... Brian David. Present teacher. Okay. Here. Diego Antonio. Diego. Present. Okay, here. Okay, hold on a second, please. I need to verify all the information. Okay, here was here. Okay, I'm not almost born. Edwin Alexis. It's not here? No, it's not here. Yo, Jonathan, what about you, Jonathan? Are you there, Jonathan? Present, teacher, present. Okay, thank you. Yeah, hold on a second, please. The panel's not here. Okay, uh, Jose Luis. 
Hello. Present. Hello, John. Present. Okay, thank you. Estaba teniendo problemas con la tarjeta, no me estaba grabando los datos, por eso ya estamos listos. Karen Michel. Present. Carla Lisset. Present. Catherine Maricela. Present. Okay. Uh, let me see somebody else. Yeah, Soraya. Soraya, Soraya. Present. Okay, still. Mayra Unice. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Present Roxana Álvarez Present And let me see else. Roxana Elizabeth Present and the last one is Sara Alejandra Lopez. Present. No escuché que me mencionar. Ingrid. Sí. Uh, sí yes, sí, sí, check. Sí, está, está con la asistencia. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, we were starting this part of the proposition. Estuvimos hablando de esto. Vamos a terminar la parte de la presentación. Ok, para el segundo. Ok, right here. I don't know if you are able to see it. We have some example with uh, at. It gets cold at night. ¿Qué significa eso? It gets cold at night. Tell me. ¿Sí? ¿Qué significará eso? Necesito que me digan. Hola, hola. Se pone frío en la noche. Uh, it gets cold at night, okay? But take a look at this expression, at night. What do you do at the weekend? What do you do at the weekend? Tell me. ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana? Excuse me? ¿Qué harás el fin de semana? No, what do you do? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué hiciste? Tengo el auxiliar did, si está did, significa que ya es pasado. Ok, tell me. Teresa se reunió a las dos y treinta de la tarde. 
Okay, how, how do you say that in English? ¿Cómo decimos there's, expresiones en inglés? There's meeting at 2.30 this afternoon. Okay, talking about present, right? Estamos hablando ahí en el presente. Okay, we have, uh, we visit our family and friends at Christmas. I moved to California at the age of two. Y luego tenemos a, a in acompañando a las otras preposiciones. The bus will be leaving in a few minutes. ¿Qué nos dice eso en español? Yeah. So. Okay, vamos, díganme. El bus saldrá en cinco minutos, quizás. En el fío minutos, en el fío minutos. En algunos minutos. Ok, the next set the astronauts. Explore the moon in 1960s. Okay, read, read it for me, please. Leala, por favor. Los astronautas exploraron la luna en 1960. Yes, okay, thank you. But in English, I need that you read it in English. Only the question, please, including. The input that you need to put that. The astronaut explored the moon in the nineteen sixteen. Okay, tell me what is going, what is happening uh, in December, for example. In the example that we have, say in December, you will study. Let's. What about you? Tom, please. If you want to make a summary, we can say that the proposition not in and on. Pueden parecer o significarlo a uh, lo mismo, pero en realidad se utilizan para diferentes tipos de tiempos, como se puede ver en los ejemplos anteriores. Eso es importante tenerlo claro, porque a cada momento nos vamos a encontrar con ellos. But let me clarify with the material. Uh, I'm going to share with you something. Uh, let's see, let me see this one. Okay, so I got it here. Okay, let me get bigger this. Okay, I got prepositions time at, in, and on, only this one. At for a pre precise time, in for months, and on for days and dates. Si se graban esas cosas, entonces sí va a ser más fácil. Estas tres líneas, por favor, trate de meterles su, su, uh, su esfuerzo ahí para poder tenerlas eh, ya listas. 
had for a precise time in for months, years, centuries, and long period on for days and dates. Okay, let me, let, let me show something else for that, please. Okay, I got it. Okay, you have it there. Prepositions time, at, in, and on. Alguien me lee lo que está en la parte del cuadro de abajo, por favor, donde dice preposition is the word. Okay, ya no leo. Preposition is a word which is used before a noun, a noun phraser, phrases or a pronoun connecting into another word. Okay, entonces dice la preposición es una palabra la cual es usada antes de un que antes de un nombre de un nombre o un noun phrase o a pronoun o un pronombre también connecting need to another words conectándola con otras palabras ok let us see some example where they ok Preposition of time at. Okay, another Valentine wants to read number one, somebody else number two, and somebody else number three. There is different participation. Oh, now is. Solo lectura, teacher. Yes. Please. Number one, at a specific time, at five o'clock, at half past three. Okay. Mantenga, mantengamos en mente eso. Me funciona para un tiempo específico. Uh, what about number two? Number two, number two. Para un periodo de tiempo, ¿cuáles expresiones voy a usar? At noon, at night, at midnight, at the weekend. Ah, okay. Ya, todas llevan at. And number three, at the festival. Chao, please. At a festival, at Christmas, at mid and now festival, y yes, sir. Okay, let us start using number number one. I need that all of you use at as a specific time. Okay, let us see what you have. Veamos lo que tiene usted. So, Estoy esperando los ejemplos. And then you can include number two. At the periods of time, at noon, at night, at midnight, at the weekend, as the festival, etc., etc. Tell me. Veamos. At 
1 p.m. eat my lunch. Okay, at 1 p.m. you eat your lunch. Okay, so Mario. Alguien más, por favor. I like watch TV at 7 o'clock. Okay. I like watching TV at 7 o'clock. Okay, perfect. Next one, please. Okay, solo los mismos me están participando. No sé qué les está pasando. I ate lunch 12 o'clock. ¿Qué nos falta ahí? At. Ok, entonces muy bien. Ok, whatever, ¿qué más? Teacher, podría ser I study English at a o'clock. At A o'clock. Okay. Okay, what else? I play soccer at weekend, at the weekend. Wow, oh, okay. Okay, check a look at this. This is uh, in, in a specific month, in January, in March, in season, in spring, spring, I'm sorry, in summer, in a period of time, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay. Questions uh, so far from here? Pregunta hasta acá. Okay, if you if you consider that you are going to need this information later on, you can uh, take a screenshot now, please. I'm going to move forward. In order that you, well, later on you are going to need this information. And also we have position of time like on, on a specific day, on Sunday, on Sunday morning, on Christmas Eve, on New Year's Day. Another use that we can have is uh, on a uh, date. For example, on the second May, on the 20th of June. Okay, try to give in mind, please. Okay. Tengo una pregunta. Okay, okay, okay. If you have a question, I can go back. In order that you can ask me the question. Okay, dime. Con respecto a un second night. Okay, hold on a second. Ah, hold on, hold on. You are talking about this one? Yes. On second May. On second May. En ese, perdón. Lo voy a decir en español porque no sé. En ese caso se escribe antes porque es segundo. Porque, bueno, según recordaba en lo de los cumpleaños se decía on oh, February y se dice después el, el, el número, vea, el, el día. 
Sí, recuérdese que a referente a esto usamos uh, we have ordinal and cardinal numbers. Hasta el 3, ¿verdad? Sí, porque el primero, por ejemplo, si tiene first. Es, is first, this is second. Second and third. Lo que sería third, and de ahí para allá fourth, es el sonido TH que ellos hacen. Por eso se usan de esta manera. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, solo con esos números en específico. Ok, uh, let, let us resolve this exercise. You can uh, write them down and you can answer it there, please. I'm going to give you like a four or three minutes to
Okay, let me know if you finish, please. Okay, me avisa por favor si ya finalizó. Nayer. Finish teacher. Okay, thank you. Finish, finish teacher. Okay, what about the rest? Okay, let us start. Who wants to read the, the question that the first sentence? ¿Quién lee la primera oración? Incluyendo ya la preposición que considera que es la que va a ir. Sam went to China in November. Okay, okay. Later on we are going to check it, right? Okay, the second one. La segunda, por favor. At come back at Christmas. Okay. He arrives. Came back at Christmas. He arrived in China. Okay, next. Siguiente. Teacher será. Uh, at the 30 of November, at the afternoon. Okay. Okay, you can share your idea. Later on, we are going to see exactly the answer. Okay, next one. You stay with Uncle Joe. Huh? Tell me. The 23rd of December. Okay. I need that you read number three, please. Somebody wants to read. ¿Quién lee la número tres? Ok, dice en China, the 30th of November. In the afternoon. Okay, but try to read the whole uh, sentence. Starting in China. Okay, tell me. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Okay. Okay, we have the answer here, right? Just try to compare with the ones that you have. And now you can start practicing reading. Okay, can you hear me? Sun went to China in November and came back at Christmas. She arrived. She arrived. Uh, she arrived.
in China on the ter uh, 30th of November. In afternoon, he stayed with Uncle Joe on the 23rd of December at night. Okay, who wants to do it? Uh, Ingrid, please. Sam went to China in November and come back at Christmas. He arrived in China on the 30th of November. In the afternoon, he stayed with Uncle Joe on the 23rd of December at night. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Alguien más lo lee? Okay, Jonathan. Okay, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Sam, Sam went to China in November and came back at Christmas. She arrived in China on the 13th of November in the afternoon. She stayed with Uncle Joy on the 23rd of December at night. Okay, thank you. Okay, somebody wants to read it. Mauricio, okay, Mauricio. Do it, do it, do it. Sam went to China in November and come back at Christmas. He arrived in the China on the 30th of November in the afternoon. He stay, stay with Uncle Joy on the 23rd of December at night. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us see. Let's see another exercise that we have here. Okay, this is uh, the second one. Cindy usually swim with her family. Sunday, they go swimming eight o'clock in the morning. Every year she has a long holiday, summer. She likes swimming with her brother. The afternoon in the summer holiday, it is fun. Okay, remember you can use at it and on. Okay, go ahead. You have one minute to do it, please. Finish teacher. Okay. Let us wake a little bit in order that the 
versus the glass can finish too. Still waiting. Who wants to start reading the first thing? ¿Quién quiere iniciar leyendo la primera oración, por favor? Cindy usually swing with her family on Sundays. On Sunday, okay, Sundays, okay. ¿Alguien continúa en la dos, por favor? They go swimming at eight o'clock at the morning. Okay, try to remember what you said at the moment that we are going to compare. Okay, next one, somebody else, alguien más, por favor. Every year, every year she has a long holiday in summer. Okay, she likes swimming with her brother. ¿Qué falta ahí? Okay, what is what what word is, is missing? ¿Qué palabra falta?
she likes swim with her brother in the afternoon in summer holiday. It is fun. Uh -huh. Okay, let us see what happened here. Okay, you have it there. Okay, uh, ahora sí, alguien que me lo lea completo y incluyendo las preposition. Cindy usual swing with her family on Sundays. They go swimming at eight o'clock in the morning. Every year she has a long holiday in summer. She likes swimming with her brother in the afternoon in the summer holiday. It is fun. She likes swimming. She likes swimming. Okay, somebody she, wants to read. Alguien más quiere leerlo, por favor. Ah, tenemos ahí a John. Ok, John. Adelante. Ok, ok. Cindy, Cindy usually swim with her family on Sunday. They go swimming at 8 o'clock in the morning. Every year, she has a long holiday in summer. She likes swimming with her brother in the afternoon in the summer holiday. It is fun. It is fun. It is fun. Yes, it is fun. Okay, somebody else wants to do it. Cindy usually swings with her family on Sundays. They go swimming at eight o'clock in the morning. Every year she has a long holiday in summer. She likes swimming with her brother in the afternoon in the summer holiday. It is fun, okay? Alguien más quiere decir leerlo? Me, teacher. You go ahead, sir. Okay, Cindy usually swims with the family on Sundays. They go swimming at eight o'clock in the morning. Every year, she has a long holiday in summer. She likes swimming with her brother in the afternoon. It is summer holiday. It is fun. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me see what else we have here. I don't know what happened to this presentation, but... Okay, this is exercise number two. We got the answer here. And okay, we are going to uh, this to read these tips to refer to a date. Use the preposition on before. Before a date. Okay. Example, my birthday is on 12th January. And that's it. To refer to a month, use the preposition in before a month. Okay, an example is Mary's birthday is in December. Ahí les está dando algunos tips. Okay, questions about this? No? Okay. Uh, well, let me see because of time what we want to do next.
Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, we are so close to finish. Uh, let me show you something here in order that you can understand this topic. Uh, let me know if you can see it, please. Avíseme si puede ver la presentación. Sí, sí. Yes, okay. I got here three different columns. Tengo tres columnas. In the first one, we have precise time. Tengo horas precisas. I see you clock at 10, 12 a.m. at noon. At dinner time, at, at that time, at sunrise, when the sun horas precisas. When we talk about months, years, centuries, and long period, we are going to say in May, in summer, in the summer, in 1990s, in the 1990s, in the next century, and the last part on days and days on Sunday, on Tuesday, on 6 March, on 25 December, 2010, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day. Okay, um, right here you, you can uh, take a look at this and how we are going to use it. Okay, and we have some example here. Who wants to read it? Can you say a little? Hola, hola. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. Okay, the next one. <laughs> The shop closes at midnight. Okay, next example, please. Siguiente ejemplo. Janet. The shop. Yeah. Perdón. Janet went home. At lunchtime. Okay, James went, went on at lunchtime. Okay. Next one, please. In England, it often snow in December. In England, it often snow in December. Okay, perfect. Well, let me see here what you are going to resolve for tomorrow. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, what we have here is the explanation how we are going to classify each one. This is como íbamos a hacer la clasificación, cuál es banco no, cuál es banco ni, cuál es banco A. Ya hablamos de eso. And you can... Uh, Complete exercise number five that had to do with uh, email address. Okay. Okay, hold on a second, please. I'm going to stop sharing. Let me see the time that we have. Wow. El tiempo ha volado. Let me see. Let me check out my attendance again. Let me revisar mi asistencia otra vez. America. Present. Hey, Blanca. Present. Brian. Present, teacher. Hey, Carolina is not here. Uh, Diego. Present. Elvin 
Edwin. Samuel. Ingrid Geraldino. Present. Is there, um, let me see, Jonathan. Present. Jose Luis. Present. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, Karen Michelle. Present. Katherine. Present. Lilian Soraya. Present. No me mencionó. Katherine. Carla, no me mencionó. Ah, Carla Lisette, I'm sorry. Carla Lisette. Present. Okay, Lilian Soraya is there. Uh, Eunice no estuvo. Mauricio. Mauricio. Present. Is there? Okay, thank you. Uh, Roxana Alvarez. Present. Present. Roxana Elizabeth. Present. And let me see. Sara Alejandra Lopez. Present. And today is. Okay, let me see. Pat. Something here. So let's hold on a second. Class number 14, and I've got it in my list. Now, number 14, it is okay. Maria, oh, this is not here. Okay, I don't know. Maybe at the end, Lillian Soraya has some question and we can resolve today. For the rest, uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we are going to continue talking about this topic later on. And uh, maybe uh, we are going to have the opportunity to clarify some doubt that, that maybe we have, okay? Well, I hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to close the week number three and left only one. Después del día de mañana ya solamente nos queda una semana, cinco días para poder hacer el cierre. Eh, como ven, el tiempo ha volado y ya estamos próximos. ¿Sí? Entonces, eh, pedirles que van trabajando siempre en la plataforma para eh, ir eh, cumpliendo con esa parte también, es necesario. Así que ya el día de mañana cerramos semana 3, ya deben de estar sus notas eh, de las tres semanas con el Mitchell punto. Si no lo han hecho, por favor, el eh, invito a que sí lo resuelvan. Es referente justamente a los temas que hemos visto. Ok, thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night and bye bye. Take care. Good night. Okay. Good night, Mitchell. Bye. 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 B